In this video, we will continue solving rational equations, where we have to factor the denominator in order to solve. In order to identify all the factors in the least common denominator, it is important to remember that we may have to factor the denominator. For example, if we were to consider this problem, you might notice that the denominator on the right needs to be factored. It factors nicely to x minus 6 times x minus 7. Notice the other denominators have factors of x minus 6 and x minus 7 also, so this will become our least common denominator, x minus 6 times x minus 7. We will then multiply each term by x minus 6, x minus 7, x minus 6, x minus 7, and x minus 6 times x minus 7. When we do this, the x minus 6 divides out of the first fraction, leaving just an x times the x minus 7. The x minus 7 divides out of the second fraction, leaving just plus 1 times x minus 6. In the last fraction, after the equals, we have both the x minus 6 and the x minus 7 dividing out, so all we're left with is negative 3x minus 8. We can now start solving this equation by distributing through the parentheses. x squared minus 7x plus x minus 6 equals negative 3x minus 8. Combining like terms, we get x squared minus 6x minus 6 equals negative 3x minus 8. To continue solving, we'll make it equal to 0 and see if we can factor. We'll add 3x and 8 to both sides. This gives us x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Sure enough, this factors nicely to x minus 2 times x minus 1. And so we can set each factor equal to 0, x minus 2 equals 0, and x minus 1 equals 0, in order to quickly solve and find our two solutions for x. Adding 2, x equals 2, and adding 1, x equals 1. Let's try another example, where we clear the denominators by first factoring to find the least common denominator. In this problem, the x squared minus 9 needs to be factored. That's a difference of squares. It's x plus 3, x minus 3. The other fractions have x plus 3 and x minus 3 factors as well, so all we need for the least common denominator is x plus 3 times x minus 3. We'll multiply each term by these two factors, x plus 3 times x minus 3, x plus 3 times x minus 3. As we do, both factors divide out of the first fraction, leaving just the negative 9x. Plus, in the second fraction, the x plus 3's divide out, leaving 2 times x minus 3 equals, in the last fractions, the x minus 3's divide out, and we have 1 times x plus 3. We'll start solving by distributing through the parentheses, giving us negative 9x plus 2x minus 6 equals x plus 3. Combining like terms gives negative 7x minus 6 equals x plus 3. Moving the variable to one side by adding 7x gives us negative 6 equals 8x plus 3. Finally, it's a two-step equation, which we can subtract 3 to get negative 9 equals 8x, and finally, divide by 8 to get our final solution. x is equal to negative 9 eighths.